I came to Poland just like a miracle. Because for me, I've never known about Poland. The only thing I know about Poland is that Pope John Paul comes from Poland. <laughs> Szanowni Państwo, decyzją kapituły pierwszą w historii nagrodą województwa małopolskiego imienia Jana Pawła II Veritatis Splendor zostaje uhonorowana siostra Rosemary Nurambe. which I am deeply involved in started with accepting young women who were abducted by the rebels of the Lord's Resistance Army, taken to captivity, trained as child soldiers, and of course a lot of people have heard about the war in Africa and the war in northern Uganda which was waged by the rebels of the Lord's Resistance Army whose leader is Joseph Kony. But very few people heard about girls who are trained to be soldiers. Many people think the rebels only train boys to become soldiers. But in this case, we have women, young girls who are trained to be soldiers, and they were also given to rebel commanders to become their wives, and they were treated as sex slaves. And sometimes when these girls managed to get children from these rebels out of rape or forced sexual violence. These girls come back with the children when they try to escape. And some of them manage to reach back in their society where they were abducted. But the society does not accept them because they strongly believe these children, these young girls have been trained to kill, which is true. And so everybody is afraid of these women. This is when I looked at the situation, I decided that it was very important for us to open our door and accept these girls with their children in our school. This is a Catholic school, and it was the first time we opened the door to say, girls, come with your children in the school. Even those who are pregnant, come as you are. I sent a radio announcement to invite them to come to this school, and they came for the first time. So many girls came with the children, and I was overwhelmed. But at the same time, I thought that was a very good move, that we can work together with my sisters to accept, to love, and to adopt these young people and become their mothers in order to teach them to love the children they got from sexual rape, violence, and make these children feel they are innocent children and need another life and another future. My job with the girls is mostly a job of giving dignity, a job of acceptance, a job of loving people who are put aside by the society people who are neglected, who are marginalized, people who society consider to be nothing, and especially my work involves women and children, bringing them to realize that life can be better for them tomorrow because all of us are there to love them. I try my best to be a mother because for me, to be a mother is to love these girls and show them the right way that they themselves can love their children in future. They learn so many things. First of all, they learn to live together. They learn to forgive one another. They love to accept their own sisters, their own friends who have been in the same situation. And they also learn that it is useless for us to judge one another and be violent to one another. And we teach them how to live together and live well. And so, apart from that, I have to introduce to them many practical skills because they cannot learn theory, they cannot go for big lessons. And I realize that 
they can learn by doing over and over again. And we teach them how to make clothes, we teach them how to make bags, we teach them how to cook, we teach them how to care for their children. And for me, this bag is very significant for these girls because it is made from materials people use and throw away. And I always say, even the women we are working with are people who society throw away. And when we work with them, we rebuild their lives, we make them look beautiful, just like this bag looks beautiful. And for me, looking at these bags, it is a way of sowing hope, it's a way of bringing dignity. And for me, the greatest miracle was to hear that I was a beneficiary and I was coming to receive an award from Pope Paul II, in honor of Pope Paul II, this very touchy splendor. And I said, what does that mean to me? It is very, very important, and I had to reflect about it. Then immediately, I thought of my own congregation, Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and our motto is, live love in truth which I'm wearing in my ring, live love in truth. I say, live love in truth is almost the summary of Veritatis Splendor to me. And I had never connected it until I got this miracle. My tears almost came and said, who am I to get this award in honor of Pope Paul II? It is a miracle from him for me. And uh, before I got that, I was praying in a chapel where I saw the picture of Pope John Paul on the wall. And every time, like, he was looking at me and speaking to me. And I said, this is for me a great, great miracle. <laughs>